Hey there, welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard and yes, my degenerate self is on the carnival celebration right in front of the Empress Casino. And one of my most watched short videos, and I'll post it right up there, is how to get free cruises on carnival. I'll tell you, two years ago, I paid for my first carnival cruise. Next cruise that I'm on after this cruise, which is gonna be on the Jubilee, I will be platinum. So what I wanna do is I wanna spend the next half an hour or so answering your questions about the casino. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go through. We're gonna talk about the points, we're gonna talk about the comps, we're gonna talk about everything about the casino. Now, one thing about the casino, they don't like kids or cameras in the casino. So I guess my camera identifies as a kid. So I'm doing this completely perfectly sober. Why am I doing this completely perfectly sober? For your benefit. So let's go ahead and let's get started let's say it's your first time on a carnival cruise the cool thing is at tables and at slots we're gonna go in right now at tables and at slots you can charge to your account for free yes so there's no fee like virgin charges a seven percent fee royal charges a fee um celebrity charges a fee you know or they were royal and celebrity restrict you on how quickly you can cash out if you wanted to sorry to say this out loud carnival uh if they might cut you off but you know if you wanted to you could come in and print credit card points you could put 500 dollars on your credit card take 500 dollars out in cash 500 dollars on your credit card 500 dollars out in cash well you really can't do that because you can only charge 300 dollars at a time which kind of makes this machine worthless now i know some of you are going hey i don't like to gamble on credit and you know maybe you don't like to gamble on credit but um this atm that's right at the entrance of the casino we just came into the casino uh, becomes pretty worthless because when you can charge directly to your account i look i'm not saying to be a degenerate and go overboard i'm just saying the atm becomes pretty uh worthless there but there's another atm that's a little bit more worthwhile i made another video couple weeks ago that was specifically talking about AARP gift cards and one of the really cool things is you can buy AARP gift cards at a discount and once you buy your AARP cards at a guess discount 10% discount plus whatever you make on your credit card you can come right over here and you can add your AARP gift cards to this kiosk and then you can play in the casino at a 10% discount on table games, on slots, on whatever you want. Or, you know, the other option is so you can charge to your room, you can, you can do any of that, or you can actually just bring cash. Yes, cash is king. The machines accept cash. Who would have thunk it? Now, everything is done digitally in the Carnival Casino. Yeah, you put in $100, then you have to come over to these big ugly machines right here slide your room key into that big ugly machine and it will give you hundred dollars in cash yeah you don't even have to look someone in the face if you make money or unfortunately if you lose money but they do have a cash desk now those machines do not accept chips and you can only take out twelve hundred dollars at a time from those machines well richard what if i've got a two thousand dollar cash out slip well if you got a two thousand dollar cash out slip you just take out twelve hundred dollars then you run a second transaction for $800. Very simple, very easy. One of the other cool things is in the Carnival app on most of the Carnival ships, there's a tab that says casino. It will tell you how many casino points you have, which casino points we're gonna talk about in just a few seconds. Casino points are super duper important to getting a free cruise. Uh, and it will also tell you how much is in your player bank. You can only take out full dollars. Cents, you can get out of the cashier, but cents don't make much sense in this economy. Yes, I just used, I used the word cents twice. Um, but if you don't take out your pennies by the end of the cruise, they will donate it to St. Jude's. If you leave more than $10 on your account, uh, less than $10 on your account, they'll donate it to St. Jude's. If you leave more than $10 on your account, they will eventually find you. So we're walking into the casino. We went to the cash desk. We talked about the different types of ATMs, the machine that gives your money back and everything like that. And one of the first things we are blessed with is a plethora of slot machines and yes they have some penny slots but guess what the word penny slot means like what the word dollar store meant back in the day uh yes it's a penny but you have to play it multiple pennies at a time 
I am a max bet slot player. I'm a true degenerate. And the thing is, the best place to be a true degenerate is not on this cruise line. Uh, my first cruise with Carnival, I was being a true degenerate and I won a $1,200 tax, uh, uh, I won a $1,200 win and I got a tax form. Before we move on, let's talk about tax forms. And tax forms are a pain in the ass because money's money and the casinos know that money's money. But if you get a payout on Carnival, and most other cruise lines, we'll talk about some exceptions in a minute. If you get a payout on Carnival and most other cruise lines of more than $1,200 on the slots or any digital machine, that's important because we'll talk about that. Or if you get 300 to one or more on a table, you're going to get a tax form. And tax forms are a bitch uh, and not something you generally want to deal with. Um, but that is the slots there's not much to say about slots if you max bet on a slot and you hit more than 1200 bucks hey you're gonna get a tax form now you might say hey rich how do i avoid hitting more than those 1200 bucks and that's something that i actually showed you in a short video and this is going to segue us into getting free cruises and points and things like that but it's something i i really do want to show you in a short I, I really have shown you in a short video already it's the wheel of fortune machines Generally speaking, the Wheel of Fortune machines are not going to pay out more than $1,100 in a single spin. Why is that beneficial? Well, because if you're chasing points, which chasing points is really what we're going to be talking about for the remainder of this video, if you're chasing points, you don't want a tax form. So uh, the Wheel of Fortune machines, they're dollar machines. I'd play them in a max bet at like a $10 bet and you are good to go. Now, even though we are in port in San Juan right now, I believe, you see, all these games around us are legally games of luck. But there's one game right here that's a game of skill. And I believe that this game of skill will actually work when we're in port. Am I the kind of idiot that's gonna spend $5 on this for a video right now? Yes, I'm gonna show you that skill don't matter. So. I'm gonna take my uh, magic room key, select price level, hold on, let's do it. It's a fun little interlude. Declined, uh-oh. I guess I will not be playing that machine because maybe it's broken, maybe it's Maybelline, but let's go back to points we're in the slot section of the casino right now and being in the slot section of the casino let's talk about slot points so carnival casinos on average they don't publish this have about a 90 percent payout rate their payout rate is some of the best in the industry why because they make it on volume meaning that 90 percent of what they take in they pay out over time. That's with jackpots. That's across all ships. That's weird. I'm talking about slots right now. How about a 90% payout, payout rate? Companies like Virgin Voyages have a 75% payout rate. Now, again, these are not published. This is anecdotal evidence. What that means is, you know, if you run $1,000 for the machine, you should get 900 back over time. And for every $5 you run through the machine, you're going to get one point now casino points are how carnival tracks a lot of things especially on slots video poker things like that tables is a little different we'll talk about tables in a minute so if you're a table player stick around i've got a whole section for you we're gonna leave slots soon um, but carnival has some of the best payouts in the industry and you get one point for every five dollars run through the machine and realistically you should lose 10 percent over time it's gambling if you're here to make money, you're wrong. If you win money in the casino, what's the first thing you should do? You should walk the fuck out of the casino. I'm late enough that I can curse here. But um, that's how you get the points. And what you are looking to get on the first night of your cruise, let's say this is your first carnival cruise. What you wanna get on the first night of the cruise, especially if you don't have a drink package, is 1,500 points. It could be a little lower if you're on a booze cruise, meaning if you're on like a three to four day cruise, you can get less than 1500 points. But 1500 is good irregardless of the length of your cruise. Why? Well, because 1500 points gets you drinks on us. What the hell is drinks on us? It means you can drink for free in the casino while the casino is open and you are actively playing. There's a very big distinction right there. 
you cannot go up to this bar right here and order a drink. Bug Casino's open and get it for free. I learned that because I heard a Bud Light, a friend of mine. I tried to, tried to give him a Bud Light. Uh, and uh, he didn't have the drink package I did. Tried to do that and they charged him for a Bud Light. So you have to be sitting at a slot, you can order, or you can be sitting at a table and you can order and in slots, you can leave a tip on your card. Um, on a table, I always go ahead and make sure if you're getting drinks for free, you leave a tip. On a table, I always get some $1 chips if I'm playing on a table and they can take chips right there or you can give cash because cash is king still in this day and age. You can drink anything that's on the drink package up to 15 drinks a day. And once you hit that 1500, here's why that 1500 is important. Once you hit 1500 points, which is, uh, hold on, we gotta get the calculator out. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. We're gonna, we're gonna be having the calculator come a lot this cruise, uh, this next 1500 times five, which is $7,500 run through the machine, which in theory, well, 7,500 times 0.9, well, hold up. Which in theory, look, if, if it's going there, you should make, you should lose 750 getting that. Now that's for drinks on us for you only, not your companion, but the cool thing is, now that's in theory, you could make money, you could lose money, it could be a push, but I'm saying overall, Getting to that 1,500 points on slots, you're gonna lose an average of 750 with a 10% uh, house advantage, if that makes sense running that through. But the cool thing is that will get you drinks on us while you are actively playing in the casino for both the current cruise, the remainder of the current cruise you're on, as well as your next cruise. And on your next cruise, it will cover both you and your companion you bring along because both rooms, most rooms are dual occupancy. So you don't have to worry about those 1500 points. The next cruise, you can start drinking from the second the casino's open. What's really cool is Carnival's Casino is super integrated into their app and everything like that. And being super integrated, literally the second we got on board the ship and signed into the app, it popped up and it said drinks on us because it knows I'm already a degenerate gambler. Now, we've talked about most of the slots. I will tell you video poker is a little bit different since video poker has some better odds. It's like three points, uh, three points for every dollar spent. We'll get to tables in a minute, but there is one weird slot I want to talk about. Uh, now we're going over, we're crossing over from the non-smoking section to the smoking section. The nice thing is Carnival has put the same games the same slots, you like Dragon Link, you like He Chao Cho Ming Spring Festival, you like dancing drums, you like Buffalo, Buffalo, you like any of that, you like Deuce as Wild, you like any of those, guess what? They're all here in both the smoking and the non-smoking section of the casino. We're in the smoking section right now, but right at the entrance and exit to the casino, there's something that kind of blends the line. I love to blend the line. This blends the line between slots and table games. And in blending the line between slots and table games, that gets interesting. Again, we've only talked about 1,500 points so far getting free drinks. We'll talk about where free cruises come into play in a minute, but I wanna talk about this game right here. This game right here is a slot machine. Keyword, slot machine. There's, there's important. And it's got on it, they have uh, seven of these on this ship. It's got on it blackjack, baccarat, craps, and roulette. Here's the cool thing. It's a slot machine. How you know it's gonna fuck you? Well, cause roulette on this machine, I think I got a picture of it. Roulette on this machine is triple zero. So it's designed to fuck you. But it also gives you one point for every $5 spent. I know things about that machine that I don't wanna say on the internet. But the important thing is if you like blackjack, roulette, baccarat, uh, or craps, and you play it over here on this machine, you're gonna get more points than you're gonna get playing at a table, which is where we are headed to next. Now remember though, there is a caveat there. That is a slot machine. 
slot machines, you pay tax on payouts of $1,200 or more, single payouts of $1,200 or more. So you have to be very careful when you're betting there that you don't get to a single payout of $1,200 or more. Generally, you're gonna get that playing roulette on a straight number, on a straight up number. You'll get that uh, playing roulette on a straight up number. But we're gonna leave the slot machines uh, oh, Buffalo, Buffalo. We're going over to the non-smoking section because it doesn't smell like an ashtray. I'm sorry. And um, so we've talked about the 1,500 points. Here's the guide. Here's 1,500 points on night one. Great place to start. But here's your guide. 1,000 points a day. You get 1,000 points a day, you're going to get a free cruise. Now, it's not going to be the best thing in the world. 1,000 points a day for your cruise is going to get you an inside cabin, potentially with drinks just for you as the player all over the ship. Thousand points a day. That's what a thousand points a day is getting you now. But as you start getting get more points, Carnival has different tiers. They have Premier, they have Ultra, and they have Echo. Now those are not specific cruises or anything like that, but those are offers made by the casino. Uh, and they include different prizes, different things in your room, different chocolates, different other stuff like that. And you'll see this cruise is actually an ultra cruise. This is what we're making at the table. So again, a thousand points per day, which look, in theory, that 750 lost per day is going to get you guaranteed. Are you going to get at lower than that? Once you get to 1500, are you likely to get some free cruise offers on three, four, five day cruises? Yeah, that's the truth. You're likely to get some offers on three, four, five day cruises once you get to 1500. But once you start getting a lot of points, I'm a big point getter. I'm a roulette player. I like the Martingale. I like the Fibonacci. Maybe I'll make a video about that another time. But I've been offered what's called an ultra cruise, which you get a free cruise, you get a bunch of onboard credit, and you get one of these prizes. Pretty much you pull from a little raffle, a ULTRNA. This will tell you how updated Carnival is. Literally less than a week ago, the iPhone 15s came out, and you'll see that the iPhone 15 is already an option there. Thing is, if you take any of these prizes right here, again, you, you will get one of these prizes if you go on an Ultra Cruise, but if you take any of those prizes, you pay tax on the price of those prizes. If you take the free play, just take the free play. But free play is different than the AERP money or what you charge to your credit card. You must play through free play. So they have Premier, which is just another offer, and they have uh, Echo, which gets you free parking and, a, and a, you know, a limo from the airport and other stuff like that. That's their higher end. But essentially, what you're probably looking for, if you're looking at this video, is how do I pay my $500 a person to come on a Carnival Cruise once and then just pay $100 each and every single time I want to come on a cruise? And that's the answer. A thousand points a day. Now there are other ways to get those points. We've talked about slots so far. Let's talk about tables. So um, we're over here in the non-smoking section. I want to show you my favorite table, which is Ultimate Texas Hold'em. We're going to go over all the bets. I've played table games. I don't even know how to play this cruise, just so I can talk about this with you. So what you'll see is this is a $5 minimum on this table. They have a $25 minimum as well. It is single deck, but there are two decks in rotation with the evil, evil Shuffle Master. And here's how this game works. Essentially, you put $5 here on ante, $5 here on odds. That's all you have to do to play the game. Essentially, even money. You're not playing against these eight people at the table. You're really playing with them, and you've got the dealer. Most dealers here say you can share cards, no problem. I had one that was a bit of a dick hole. The other day and yes the dick hole is the thing you pee out of it's like an asshole but it's even shittier or maybe less shitty i don't know so you put your five dollars here you put your five dollars here you get the cards if you like what you get in your hand your first two you can go three times and you're done and then you're just playing the dealer and then you can get what your raise is right there you get paid on ante you get paid on odds where this game really isn't fair is the ante pushes if the dealer has less than a pair so if there's not a pair on the board or a pair in the dealer's hands, even if you beat them, you're not paid out on the ante. That's the important thing to kind of understand. Now, there is a slot machine factor at play as well. What do I mean by there is a slot machine factor at play as well? Well, right above the table odds, you have trips, which you're betting on if there are 
three of a kind, and that could be trips on the table. It doesn't matter if it's on the board, because there's a board. Everyone has two cards. There's a board, and the dealer has two cards. And then you get paid out all these different two. You get paid a three to one on trips, five to one on straight, six to one on flush, eight to one on full house, 30 to one on quads, 40 to one on straight flush, and 100 to one on royal flush. Or you have pocket bonus, which the big one you get is ace face. So if you get an ace with a face card, you get paid. If you get ace face suited, you get paid. So again, any pair, let's say you get a pair of twos, pair of ducks, you get five to one. You have ace face, you get 10 to one. You have ace face of the same suit, you get 20 to one. And you get pocket rockets, you get 25 to one. But here's where the game comes into play. There's a sucker bet right here. There's two sucker bets. There's a $5 sucker bet and a $10 sucker bet. And those pay out right there. Here's the cool thing though. When you are playing those sucker bets, you are able to, for points, you are basically playing a table and a slot machine at the same time. It's kind of cool. So what that means is, you know that those aren't gonna hit that often. But when you're playing those, you're getting significantly more points. Let's talk about table points. This is like two points per dollar spent, if that. How these work is when you come and you sit down, they bing you in on this machine. Oh, it does actually work? No. They bing you in on that machine. And then every time there's a hand dealt, they are tracking how many hands you play. And you've got the pit boss man right here tracking your average size per bet. So the pit boss man is tracking your average size per bet, and that's how they calculate your points on the table games. Now, do the table games give you nearly as many points as the slots? Let's shake our head together and go, no, they don't. But here's where it gets interesting. Can your money last a lot longer in table games? Yes, the house advantage is lower in table games than it is in slots. That's why a lot of people tend to play the tables. And the house advantage is best, uh, is worst on two games. There are two games in the casino that they say everybody should be playing. That are the two best games to play. Um, and the first one, craps. Everybody says craps has the best odds in the entire casino. That's too many options for me. Um, but uh, they say Craps has the best odds in the entire casino, and this table is always slammed. There are two craps tables, one on the smoking side and one on the non-smoking side. And if you don't play craps, you play blackjack. I played $500 in blackjack. One night, I took my $500 and I made it into $900. The other night, I took my $500 and I made it into $0. But again, blackjack is going to get you like $1, one point. Let, let me rephrase that. Uh, <laughs> I, I said on the other game, so you, you know I was saying you get $2, one point, no, that's wrong. Um, for like every $20 you spend on the Texas table, Ultimate Texas, you get a point. Uh, for every like $50 you spend here or on the um, craps table, you get a point. But the craps table doesn't really have it. I don't think it, I mean, it does have some. It does have some slot machines. You see that, that that's a slot machine. <laughs> Make them all. So if it gets everything but a seven, look at look at that bet. Hold on, hold up, hold up. If you hit everything but a seven on bonus craps, that's the slot machine right there. You see that bonus crap shit? It's 150 to one. And the cool thing is, remember we talked about 300 to one? There is nothing on this craps table that's going to give you a tax form. I know, right? There's nothing on that craft stable that's gonna give you a tax form. So, yeg shabash, you do you, I like a sex, no. Uh, but the thing is, on this table, and by this table I mean blackjack, they have some interesting bets. So you're just playing normal blackjack, there's seven decks in the shoe, but if you get a queen of hearts pair, you get $625. If you're betting that $5 bet. Now this is a bet that's actually insured by an insurance company, and this is a slot machine. Again, it's a slot machine on a table game. It's so unlikely to happen, it's got odds that are worse than a slot machine, but guess what happens when it happens? Just like a jackpot on a slot machine, guess what happens when it happens? You're very friggin' happy. I'll tell you, let me jump back, because there's no one in the casino right now, so I can jump back. 
I tell you, Ultimate Texas Hold'em has a slot machine too. Let's talk about their slot machine a little bit. We've talked about it, but their slot machine, which you're getting basically slot points for playing. So when you put when you put five dollars down here on UTH, if I put five dollars there, I'm getting one point every time I put five dollars there. And if you get a full house, you get paid back ten times your bet. If you have a four of a kind, which I've gotten multiple times playing this game, you get back a hundred times your bet. If you get a straight flush, you get back, oh, what is that, uh, 225 times your bet. Now, I'll tell you one thing that seems kind of weird is like the $5 bet and the $10 bet, everywhere up along the way, they're double, but they're not double. So what this is telling you is the $10 bet is the real sucker bet because you're not getting the full value out of it. If you look everywhere, I think, yeah, it's funny. Uh, oh, this is actually three card poker, which is very similar to the Texas Hold'em, but you look, the top payout is exactly the same as the other one. It's not double. So the, the real sucker bet, the real sucker bet here in the tables is playing the slot machine and getting paying the $10 bet because the $10 bet, you're pay, playing two times more than the $5 bet, and it's paying you two times more all the way up. But if you were to hit something nice, you get rewarded at a ratio that's less. So as we say in the world of degeneracy, fuck this shit. Now, the great thing is Carnival is very attentive. I'll tell you, make sure when you're sitting, you're playing at the table, get some dollar chips. When the guys come around asking for drinks, you can get 15 alcoholic drinks a day in the casino once you get those 1,500 points for free. And again, once you get those 1,500 points, you get it on your current cruise and you get it on your next cruise for you and your companion. So bring a degenerate along. <laughs> bring a degenerate along with you. Uh, and you guys can both drink for free. But you just use those little blue dollar chips. Throw them a blue dollar chip for every drink you get. And you will never go thirsty here. Uh, my drink is a Kraken Pepsi and Grenadine. That is my drink of choice, but generally what'll happen is we'll get in a good run over on the UTH because everyone plays together on Ultimate Texas Hold'em and we'll do, we were going through so many different shots last night. It's ridiculous and guess what? It's all included. Don't drink too much though because you might lose your ass. Um, there's a couple times I drank a little too much in the casino, lost a bit, but there's a lot of blackjack tables here. Blackjack, Ultimate Texas Hold'em, three card, they have this game called Let It Ride. I tried to play it last night. Let It Ride. Let It Ride. It's just three card Monty with a different name. Don't you fucking do it. Uh, it's, it's one of those that's just not worth playing. Um, and then they do have roulette. Uh, fortunately, unlike the game that we were talking about before, the uh, slot machine, it is not fuck you three card. Not three card. It's not fuck you roulette. Uh, fuck you roulette is zero, double zero, triple zero. That's why I call it fuck you roulette. This is at least uh, fuck you gently roulette. So this is only zero, double zero. So not European, but fuck you gently roulette. Celebrity Cruises, which I'm going to be on next month, actually has a single zero roulette table on all their ships. They fucking hate to open it because the house aisles are a lot lower on single zero. So what do I do? There's all these people playing a double zero on Celebrity. You can see me talk about this next. If, if you, you can see, oh, we're, we're just a Celebrity video. Yeah, he's going to talk about this. Um, if you have a double zero and a single zero roulette table, they will only open the double zero unless you convince everybody to get the fuck up and leave the double zero and then force them to open the single zero. That's what I have to do every time. But remember, in roulette, you're generally gonna lose money. Uh, I am a roulette uh, expert of sorts. Uh, and you'll see straight up, if you martingale, oh my God, the minimum is too. F fuck this table. This is why I play on those digital machines. You know what the minimum of the digital machines is? It's a quarter. If you're a martingaler, if you're a uh, fibonacci -er, if you are whatever the hell you want to call your strategy that you're using, this right here, this is some bullshit. I have a friend who literally told me they lost 20 grand when they went on a carnival cruise and played roulette. You know why? Because they tried to play machine roulette at the table. I have not played a single fucking hand of table roulette because table roulette is there to fuck you. Uh, I like machine roulette because you can start your bets at a quarter 
and you can martingale, you can Fibonacci, you could do all of those different things a bit better. So here's the thing. When you get that free cruise offer, yes, let, let's be honest, you know, you're paying for the cruise and you're gambling chances. You make money some cruises, you lose a little bit of money some cruises. Hey, if you're smart, you max out your AARP gift cards like we were saying, uh, you, you only, uh, you got twelve fifty in free play by buying $12,500 in gift cards, which is what you can buy every month from AARP with Carnival. You know, you're going to do okay over time. And, and once you get those free cruise offers, you can book up to three of those free cruise offers with every offer. Every offer is good for up to three cruises, except for the cruise that they will send you if you get those thousand points a day on most cruises, not all. This one might be a little tougher because it's an ultra cruise that's on celebration. A certain percentage of their highest end players get an offer directly from the ship. And that offer that's directly from the ship is a little bit different than the offers you get online. Now, what your offers are going to show up is you will sign in. Let's see if I can show you this without showing you this. Um, with your VIFP club number on Carnival's website. Very important fun person, that's their loyalty number. And all their loyalty is actually, I mean, I'm gold soon to be platinum, but all their loyalty is actually based on the casino play. You'll log in online and what you'll see is you'll see $100 per person on cruises all over. And that just means you're paying $100 per person, plus you're paying taxes and port fees, but you're gonna get that $100 per person back in onboard credit. Now, as you play more or as you do more cruises or stuff like that, they're gonna start attaching free play to it. I get $500 to $1,000 on every cruise in free play um, that I can play in the casino. Sometimes you could take it as onboard credit so you can use it anywhere. Remember, free play only works in the casino. Onboard credit works anywhere and in the casino. Plus, onboard credit you can cash out at the casino. So read between the lines and take, take, take the onboard credit. You can use it more places than just the casino. But, you know, sometimes the casino free play offer is just so, so much better. What I've hoped is in the last half an hour, I've given you a bit of a tour of the casino of the largest cruise ship in the Carnival fleet, the newest cruise ship in the Carnival fleet. Well, before the Jubilee, which I will be on in its first month or so of sailing uh, at the end of January in 20. 24. I hope I've given you a good idea of the casino. I've played every game in the casino. I know the points. I know all that. I might have not done that in the last 35 minutes, but here's what I'm here for. If you've made it 35 minutes into this video, I'm here to help you. Uh, every person I have brought on board with me, generally I'll book these cruises on my own. That's the cool thing. If you don't know who you're going to bring with you, you can book it as a TBA and you only have to put it in two nights before. So two days before your cruise, you put in the person's name. Worst case scenario, it'll show up as TBA and your last name. And you got to go guest services once you get on board because they print the room keys a little bit early. But um, every single person that I brought on board, I've used these strategies that I'm telling you right now, these numbers, these different things like that, and they've gotten free cruises. I know they're solid. I know they work. 1500 is all Carnival publishes. You get that 1500 on pretty much any cruise you're going to get your drinks on us while playing actively in the casino. You'll get your drinks on us. The thousand a day is something I've come up with. I've tested it 12 times. Again, I'm turning platinum next cruise. I've tested it with different friends 12 times and they've all gotten free cruises. That thousand a day is your metric. Some days you're gonna lose the 750. Remember we talked about it's, it, some days you're gonna lose that 750. Some days you're gonna win that 750. That's just the way the cookie crumbles if you're playing slots. Again, if you're playing those crazy slot machine type things on the table, your mileage may vary because sometimes you're gonna hit that 1250 straight flush. Sometimes you're not gonna hit that 1250 straight flush. Sometimes you're gonna hit four of a kind. Sometimes you're not going to hit four of a kind, you know? But overall, you should work out, if you're playing a mixture of slots and tables, losing about 6 to 7% of the money that you run through the casino over time. But guess what? You had fun. 
you got a free cruise. I've tested all these numbers myself and with my friends, I've actually tested them with my own money. So uh, that's how secure I am in knowing these actually work because a lot of them are not gamblers, but guess what? Now they get free cruises. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below. This is Richard from No Pants Profits outside of the casino, the Empress Casino for Carnival Celebration, reminding you, hey, look, I was gonna end this with, you know, reminding you that when you wear no pants, the only thing you have left to lose is your shirt. But the actual thing is reminding you that if you're on a seven day cruise and you have more than 7,000 points, because 1,000 points a day, and you're up in the casino, you know what you do? You don't lose your shirt, you don't wear your pants, you get the fuck out of the casino. Any questions, drop them below, or if you want to ask more privately, you can send an email to nopantsprofits at gmail.com. This is Richard from No Pants Profits saying, when you win in the casino, get the fuck out of the casino once you have your points for the day. And remember, when you wear no pants, there's only one thing you got left to lose, and that is your shirt. Have a great one.